Yeah. Oh, get that draw, but starting right target, yeah? So in terms of the movements here now, the left-hand one sort of showcases where you go back. So you can see where your left arm now addressed with sort of hanging down over your chest, yeah? As you go back here now, you can see how your left arm now is sort of moving away from your body, yeah? So that pressure we talked about has been lost because you're moving your arm away. The club then, when it gets level with the hands, there is kind of off the screen you've rotated that forearm a lot so this club face now at this left wrist position very very open and then from there now not much rotation and all we end up seeing from there now is kind of a lift of the arm so that's kind of where your club was the practice you were doing here now that's what we're going to try and do yeah so you see the pressure in your arms there now is maintained the same across your chest you're not dragging them in or squeezing them tight they're just there's your normal setup, okay? And we just turn the right side out of the way. And look how much minimal left knee movement there is when you do that, yeah? Whereas if you look at this one here now, look how much your left knee is kind of going, you're squatting down, you're getting shorter and losing your height there as the club goes back. So this one here now is more of a kind of one piece movement that they talk about, okay? And that's the feeling you've got to have so you're becoming more aware of the club face and how that club is working. Your hands you can see are kind of working inwards as the torso is rotating, yeah? So the club's gonna work this way, the hands are gonna work this way. It's all moving on that kind of arc that's gonna be created by the movement of your body, okay? So that club works the inside here now. That's your feeling, okay? Now, as you go into the golf ball, you'll see you go sort of in between, yeah? Because obviously before you were used to doing it way behind, you've done the practice there now, your left wrist hasn't moved quite so much. As we get to the top of the backswing, the club's in a reasonable spot. As we come back down, you still feel as though you need to start left to touch. So the club shaft, you know, is kind of, it's not quite over the golf ball, but it's getting there. I think this is the one we got on the camera where the club was kind of a little bit more, a similar kind of issue, okay? But you can see this path here before was still trying to start the ball left to target because it had to. You had that curve on the golf ball. So how do you fix the ball ending up over here? Well, what you do is you start the ball over there yeah and that's now what we're going to try and avoid avoid or get rid of because obviously your club face now is squarer the ball's starting left and he's just staying there okay so the feeling that we're going to put into your downswing now are the arms falling down here and we'll show you a little drill now that we're going to talk about because your body's going to rotate yeah? yeah that's that's inevitable okay so the arms have got to start working down so they sort of start swinging out and towards the golf ball so most of this today is all about getting your hands to get more behind you effectively and stay there. So we'll show you a little drill here now, kind of like a Justin Rose drill, where you get to here, you don't unwind your body, you drop the arms down here and you get the golf club effectively back behind here with your hands kind of over here somewhere, yeah? So you're at the top of the back swing here and then you're going to go and do that, yeah? No turn at all. Because obviously that's going to get the golf club now working further behind you as opposed to over the top. When you're over the top, that will start the ball, as you saw, left a target. In the past, a left a target would create that. With a 7-9, you're ending up kind of here. As the clubs get longer, it would go further right. With a driver, you say you might sky it. Yeah. We want that club to be shallowing out, okay? At this point here now, that club is quite steep. At the checkpoint for us... What we look for is right forearm and the club shaft should be in line. So you're kind of a little bit tipped up there, okay? And we'll show in a second how we get that sensation of the arms sort of falling down to a sort of Justin Rose drill where you get to the top of the backswing here. Now your arms fall and the club ends up sort of somewhere over here relative to that right hand swing, yeah? But that's going to what's going to help change the path to move to the right. The strikes now is great, yeah? We're, we're gaining. 10 or 50, you can see the dispersion on the screen there, where the, the left hand dots is sort of slightly higher up, and there's like a diagonal from where your ball is, yeah? The ones that are right at target are short right, the ones that are left are long left, because you're striking them better with more efficiency, yeah? So we're gonna get that club working down better. Backswing wise, we've still gotta work on this, yeah? This is kind of still a drill we gotta try and work on to get that club working better. We'll try this downswing, see how it goes. If it becomes a complete mess, we'll just refocus on the setup and the takeaway, yeah? yeah if you find it's too much, I'd rather have a couple of things. Just, you can progress the next, exactly, yeah. yeah. So we'll show you that drill here now, okay? And then you can kind of progress from there, okay, buddy? Right.